Welcome back to my channel Mathematics and in this video let's solve this really interesting and tricky challenge 2 plus 2 times 2. Maybe this is the easiest challenge you've ever seen, seems pretty basic, seems pretty easy, we have very simple addition multiplication, but a lot of students make this mistake and they solve this question absolutely wrong. So first of all I want to start with this solution. So we have our challenge, so here's our challenge, this is our 2 plus 2 and times do. A lot of students solve this question like that, they solve this question absolutely randomly, they just go from, from left hand side, we have 2 plus 2 equal to 4 and we multiply this 4 by 2, so we have 4 times 2 which is equal to 8 and we have this option A, this is our, our correct answer, of course they say that this is a correct answer to this challenge. But I want to say that in math we should know what is the correct order to do this problem, so we can't solve our question randomly, we should know what is the correct order to do this problem, because obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem. And for this question, for example, let's look at this PMDMC order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world, all internet libraries, scientific graphing calculator works according to PMDMC. And of course let's solve this question according to this order of operation, okay? This PMDMC works from the top to the bottom, so parentheses at first, we should evaluate the expression inside parentheses, then exponent, then we should evaluate multiplication division group, and the last step is addition and subtraction group. So the first step parentheses, let's scan where do we have parentheses, but before let's rewrite our expression, so we have two plus 2 and times 2. Okay, the first step, parentheses, let's scan, I don't see any parentheses, so we just skip this part. What about exponents? As for me, I don't see any, any exponents, so we just skip this part as well. What about multiplication division group? Let's scan where do we have a multiplication division sign. Yeah, we have multiplication sign right here, and as you can see, this is a completely different step as we as we solved it before. We just start from addition, which is really bad in terms of math. So first of all, we should multiply this to 2 times 2, which gives us 4. So we have 2 plus 2. 4. Okay, we skip this division part, we don't have it, and the last step is addition part, yeah? Uh, we don't have any uh, subtraction sign, but we have addition part, and moreover, we don't need our order of operation, because uh, this is basic division, which is equal to 6. So we have addition part, yeah? And the last step is subtraction, we don't have any subtraction part. So, multiplication our first step, and addition our second our second step, so we have our answer 6. But what about this What about this solution? Of course this is a very bad solution because it uh, doesn't matter what order of operation you select, every time multiplication is before addition. So firstly you should multiply it and then you should, you should uh, add, okay? Uh, you should add at the last step. But with parentheses this question is absolutely correct because you should then you should start from these parentheses then uh, subtraction uh, then addition is uh, is uh, before multiplication because addition is inside parentheses. So we should evaluate the expression inside parentheses which includes addition. Okay? So then correct answer is 8. But in our case we don't have parentheses so we forget about this option A. This is a very bad bad solution. A correct answer in our for our question is option option A or B or C, but let's look closely, we don't have the 6, and then a lot of students confused, they go back to this answer 8, which is really bad, because 8 is absolutely wrong solution. But if you look closely, we have this option C, this is our 3 factorial, and if you know what about uh, something about factorial, this is a product from 1 from, from 1 to 6, so we have 1 times 2 times 3, so we have 6, 1 times 2 times 3 equal to 6, so this is the same as our option C, so uh, option C is the same as 6. So 3 factorial, this is the same 6. So forget about this solution, forget about this 8, which is really bad, but it sometimes happen. And if you don't trust me, you can easily plug this expression in your, in your calculator, but don't use your regular calculator, because you know, some of those calculators work with problem as you type it in. So for example, you plug in this 2 plus 2, and sometimes calculators gives you a 4 instantly, because calculator don't know about multiplication, and try to uh, plug in the whole entire problem. And then a calculator is smart enough to know about order of operation, they say, okay, I have multiplication, I have addition, so let's multiply it first, then we should we should add at first. So let's write our answer, our answer, correct answer is option C. So I hope your answer is the same as mine, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong, write your suggestion into the comment section, write your, your, write your, your thoughts about this challenge, what do you think about it, and see you in the next videos, have a great day.